right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology uh today i'm very excited to have uh namanji with us so namanji is the illustrious son of none other than navneet chitkaraji and uh, today he's here with us to uh, explore a very interesting topic on which i personally don't have much knowledge and that is vastu so welcome to exotic astrology and uh, please tell us what would you like to discuss today about vastu career or whichever uh, aspect is it the theor theoretical aspect practical aspect the stage is yours welcome hare krishna baba ji ji it is a pleasure to be on your channel thank you so much for inviting me on your channel i'm like very obliged to be here on the platform and you know share my views and express my views how can vastu help and you know how vastu influences on your career so today we'll start with the career okay how can vastu help you in your career so definitely see you know vastu if we align it with astrology right if we take the inputs from astrology it helps a lot so mm -hmm. taking inputs from astrology would you know increase the accuracy of vastu so whenever i do vastu i do not use just the basic principles of vastu i always take the inputs from you know jyotish as well so there is a concept of ashtak varga mm -hmm. which helps you a lot you know when it comes to the vastu so you know like shani shani represents career right so you know when we take ashtak varga always first of all see for working you need a place to work you need a you know dedicated office so that you can work right so for selecting the ideal workplace for a person according to his birth chart you know at that point the ashtak varga score of shani helps us it mm -hmm. is 10 when it comes to the play all right so career you know it is represented by jala tatva in vastu okay. see baba ji ji you know what is the most important aspect of career it is opportunity hmm. see if you will not have an opportunity you'll not be able to flourish in your career you'll not be able to excel if you don't even have an opportunity where and what would you work about so you know in building your career the most important aspect is to get an opportunity to have an opportunity all right then once you have the opportunity to hold that to grasp that opportunity then it comes the fire element the agni kona so today i'll be discussing about the jala tatva which includes the northern hemisphere and then the agni tatva which includes the southern hemisphere in the vastu okay uh, so you know since sorry to sorry to interrupt you uh, your video is kind of frozen i am wondering why <laughs> maybe there's some connection issue i mean i can hear you but your video is a bit frozen <clears throat> ah okay now now is I it can... all right yes yes now i can see you and one thing uh, i forgot to mention about you Uh, you also do vastu consultations and so anybody is interested please go to the website uh, which he has uh, i will pin it down in the description section and you also have a youtube channel and a very good instagram page where you keep posting like short videos i have seen many of them so please uh, see it down in the description section and in the comments please continue <laughs> all right so as i was discussing so you know north which is responsible for the opportunities in your life it brings opportunity all right so you know in order to have those opportunities to grow to flourish your north should be perfectly balanced so north is all about jala tatva you know in order to keep it balanced there should be no agni tatva in the north element or the you know northern hemisphere so wherever in your house or specifically we'll be talking about house here you know because 
you know, first the first things first. So when we do the vastu, we do the vastu for the house where a person lives in. So that is the most important part. Then we move on to his workplace, his office place. So number one, first priority should be given to the home of that person, the house of that person in which he is living in. Okay. All right. So the north direction of that house should be completely balanced. There should be no presence of Agni Tattva or the elements which represents the Agni Tattva. Now those elements are red color, orange color, maroon color, and then kitchen, fireplaces, you know, having grillers, microwaves, boilers, or kitchens inside the north direction of your house can hamper the opportunities in your career. Okay. Okay. And even having washrooms, see washrooms represents the disposal. Ah, oh, yes. The flushing. Right. So even having washroom in the northern directions of your house can hamper the opportunities that comes in your life. Mm. All right. So there should be no washrooms, no copper material and no heavy things. So, you know, as per Vastu Shastra, as per the principles of Vastu Shastra, north element, the north direction should always be light. So whenever we construct a home, we recommend our clients to keep the south heavy and the north light. Okay. You know, all the elevations of the house should be towards the southern directions and north should be empty. It should be light so that the opportunities can come in your life so that you can grasp those opportunities and grow in your life. Mm. So now we've balanced the north, all right? We have the opportunities coming towards our way. So now what next step is to grab and to hold on that opportunities. So I had some clients saying that, you know, they get good job opportunities, you know, or they get, you know, they get a lot of clients, but they are not able to convert into their sales, but they are not able to, you know, pass their interview or clear their interview. So in that case, you know, the south direction of the home is imbalanced. Okay. Right. So if a person is not able to hold on to an opportunity or to convert their leads or to convert their opportunities into sales, then it means the south directions of his home is imbalanced. Okay. There is the presence of Jala Tattva or other elements which destroy the south hemisphere or the Agni Kona. So Agni Kona, the south direction is also represent, it also represents the confidence, the fame in your life. Okay. So whenever, you know, I want to check the career aspect or, you know, whenever a client wants me to, you know, rectify the career issues in their life. So it is always the Jalatattva and the Agni Kona, which needs to be balanced. Okay. Okay. So now when we talk about career, Baba Ji Ji, there are various types of careers. All right. Some people are into manufacturing industries. They manufacture the goods and then they sell, sell their goods into the different markets. And then it comes the service sector, like people like us, people like you, me, who provide online consultations, doctors, you know, and online consultants, which are into the service sector. So for those people, which direction is most important to boost their career, to bring more clients? And then, you know, there are teachers who teaches, teachers in the school or teachers like us who teaches astrology. For those people, which direction is the most important to be taken care of? Mm. And then finally, I would be talking about the people who are working in the government services. Okay. Like, you know, if somebody is into the police department and somebody is, is linked to the government, what are all the directions that we need to take care of? Okay. All right. So first, first up, we'll start with the manufacturing industry. So for example, somebody has a factory who's manufacturing different products. All right. For them, the north, zero degree north is the most important to bring more clients. Once the manufacturing is done the product is ready 
it is ready to be sent into the market. So for the most important part for them is to keep the ready stock into the northwest corner. Okay. So northwest corner, it represents movement. You know, the planet which is associated in the northwest is moon. Hmm. So the ready stock, the element is the air. All right. So northwest represents movement. So whatever stays into the northwest, it does not stay forever. So once the stock is ready, okay. all right, a businessman, a manufacturer would want their stock to go into the market. Yeah. So I would I always recommend my clients to keep the ready stock into the northwest corner of their factory. So I mean, all the go downs, the storerooms in which the stock is ready. So that stock is always kept into the northwest direction so that it can quickly go out and then you know we replenish that okay that's good okay very good okay then when it comes to the people working in service sector online consultancies teachers for those person what is the most important thing the mental clarity mm. all right teachers they need to be clear about the topics. They need to be clear about the lectures which they are going to teach their students. A consultant should have sharp clarity about the problems that a consultant is going to consult with. All yeah. right. So yeah. for that case, the Northeast direction is the most important. So if you are into a consulting business, so if you are a teacher, if you are into a teaching business, so Northeast is the direction that you need to take care the most. Okay. And, you know, Babaji ji, northeast direction is one of the most important directions of the Vastu Shastra. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Vastu Mandala, in the northeast direction, it is the head of the Vastu Purusha. Okay. So if there is any Vastu Dosha in northeast, the only remedy for that area is to remove it. So there is no remedy for Northeast. So there are three points. It is an axis which is forming in Vastu Shastra from Northeast to Brahmasthan to Southwest. So it is a proper axis if you would look into the Vastu Purusha or the Vastu Mandala chart. So these three points in Vastu Shastra has no remedy at all. If any Vastu Shastri or any Vastu expert is giving you remedies for Northeast or, you know, they're telling you to do certain remedies for your, for your Brahmasthan, they put some particular crystals or whatever they're doing, they're just, you know, making fool. Oh, so wow. there is no remedy of Northeast, Southwest and the Brahmasthan. Even you should not even do such remedies because these remedies, instead of working, they backfire. So when you say there are like no remedies, like you have to just remove it. So for example, can you give some examples like for the Northeast, what would be problematic and what we could remove? See, see for the Northeast, Baba Ji Ji, if you have a washroom over there, it is problematic, right? If you have kitchen over there, it is problematic. Even in Vastu Shastra and even in my case studies, a lot of case studies, it is found that, you know, having a vastu dosha, especially toilets or kitchen in northeast, it brings cancer to oh, people. I see. Okay. You know, even in the studies, you know, done by doctors, it was found that you know almost ninety-five percent of the cancer patients have or they had at some point in their life they had washrooms in northeast. Okay. Okay. So as per ideal Vastu, in Northeast, we always recommend it to keep it empty, to keep it open, airy, or the best part, make the temple in the Northeast. Okay. It is the best. Okay. So if you have a washroom, if you have a kitchen, you know, I personally say there is no remedy for that. So then See, you your life break, is... break the thing. There is no... Correct. Correct. Okay. So out of, out of all the 16 directions... You know, these two directions, Northeast and Southwest, I do not recommend any remedy for that. See, you know, your life is much bigger than a washroom or a kitchen, right? So now it is, you know, for your life, your life is at stake here. 
So I do not give any remedy to any of my client in the northeast direction. If you have a vastu dosha, the only remedy is to remove it. Okay, and uh, just wondering, uh, if yeah. just wondering if somebody has some problem in the northeast and they say mm -hmm. not do this because we stay in a rented house. So then, what should they do? See, in case of washrooms, I always tell my clients to lock it completely. All right. So, for example, if you have a three BHK flat, like three bedrooms and three washrooms, yeah. there would be two washrooms only for you left. So you you know which you can use, but you know, if you are using the washrooms in Northeast, at some point of your life, even if you do the remedy, you're going to see the bad results of that washroom in that Northeast. It is going to give you a lot of health problems, a lot of problems in your thinking. Your See, Northeast is like moon. You, you know, in astrology, we consider our mind with the moon, right? Oh, you yes. see the placement of moon in order to... I mean, judge or in order to guess like how a person would behave, would be behaving. So in Vastu Shastra, Northeast is your mind. So whatever is happening in Northeast, so whatever element, is it an anti-element or a good element is there in Northeast? That is how your subconscious mind is going to function. Your cognitive mind is going to function as per the element in the Northeast of your house. Okay, so then my uh, one question which I'm getting in my mind as of now. So, suppose there is a person in his chart, uh, moon is badly placed. So, then does it like literally mean or have you seen in your experience that such people always run to places where the northeast is bad? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, see, Vastu Shastra, you know, it, it, it works on the energy fields right so for example if there are five people in a house all right out of those five people one person has a bad moon right an afflicted moon you know which would give him a lot of mental turmoil yeah. but then other four members does not have it yeah you know other all four members they have good moon all right they don't have any you know anxiety disorders or depressions or anything like that mm. all right in that case we do not see any Vastu Dosha in the Northeast direction. So Vastu, it works as a whole, you know, on a complete family. So Vastu is all about the energy fields, you know, which is going into your subconscious mind, which is, you know, going to work for your cognitive mind. So your cognitive mind is your subconscious mind. Okay. All right. So how are you going to think? How are, how are you going to behave in a particular scenario is all dependent on your subconscious mind or your cognitive mind. Mm -hmm. All right. So it acts as a whole. If there are two people, three people, four people, five people living in a house, if the northeast of that house is not good, then everybody living in that house will lack the mental clarity they need in their life. Okay, okay. So, so if a place has problem in the northeast, the whoever is staying in that house will have problems in their mental state. Correct, correct, absolutely. And even if you are in the teaching business or into the online services, you know, then having a vastu dosha in northeast it can seriously affect your careers. Oh, I see. Okay, and I think yeah, uh, because. You know, in that sector, all we need is the mental clarity, no? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Great. If you don't have focus, if you don't have mental clarity, you'll not be able to work. It is going to directly hit your career. Hmm. Correct, correct. So we did for the manufacturing and the consulting and the teachers. And for now, for the government, we will discuss. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So for government services, see, what do you need? I mean, you don't need anything to manufacture. Okay. I mean, you do need some mental clarity, but still, what is the most important part of a government worker is the support from the government. Mm, see, out of all the directions, the 16 directions, the direction of support is known as Northwest. Northwest. Okay. Okay. Correct. So if you want to go into the government services, if you are preparing for a competitive exam to join into the government services, 
then in that case, you should have no Vastu Dosha in the northwest of your house. If you have a Vastu okay. Dosha, then get it rectified. Do the remedies for that Vastu Dosha. Okay. See, and if you are already working as a government official, then, I mean, in your office, in your house, one should always have the government emblem, the national emblem of that city that state that country in the northwest corner of your house and also in your office so that what would what that would do is it would bring the support from the higher offices to you so if you are you know seeking a promotion if you want a promotion in your life and you know you're not getting it so in that case what we do is we enhance the northwest of that area so that you know you can get good governmental support from the higher offices okay so this will work not only for government it will also work for corporate and any other job also. absolutely absolutely so even if you are in working into a corporate company and you know if you are at a lower level and you want promotions you're working you know for months and for years and you know you're not able to get promotion yeah. then i mean you need to check your northwest there might be or there would be you know a particular vastu dosha in the northwestern area of your house okay okay so now here i'm kind of getting a question so suppose there's an employee who was in a company corporate or government let's take government uh and then he has this thing good okay the northwest so then he may get support from his seniors, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, but what if, you know, within his equals or within his juniors, there are some problems. So does this only ensure from the seniors or everybody around us or for others? No, see, see Northwest is a direction of support. All okay. right. So, you know, wherever you need the support from, May it be your seniors, may it be your colleagues, or may it be the junior staff. Okay. All right. When it comes to the support system, mm. all right, the support system is managed by the Northwest. Okay. So anybody. All right. We are not talking junior. about the relationship. Okay. You know, the relationship of the juniors and seniors. We are not talking about that. We are okay. talking about the support system. So, mm. for example, I would say. You know, let's not talk about the careers for a minute. Let, let's switch into a normal household. Okay. For example, you need a loan from a bank, you know, in order to construct your home or, or for any personal reasons, you need a loan from a bank and, you know, you're not able to get it. You know, there are a lot of complications. The bank is not approving the file. The bank is not approving the papers or, you know, there are various things which are not being approved. Mm -hmm. All right. So in that case, you need support from bank. Right. And that support is not able to come through your way. Okay. That way is blocked because the northwest of that premises is not balanced. So once you balance the northwest of that area, that premises, the support, the way from the from where the support is coming, it will automatically open its door. Okay. So that is how Northwest works. Northwest is completely a support system. So wherever in your career you need support. So I specifically mentioned the public services, the government services, because you know you always need the support from your higher offices, the higher subordinates in order for you to work, in order for you to grow, to excel, to have promotions. You know, you cannot do it without the support of your higher officials. Okay, so now here, if somebody, as you said, you know, this is for the home, but for somebody, if in the home, it is good in the office, it is bad or the other way around office, it is good home, it is bad. So then how does it work out in this case? See, in the very beginning of this video, I told the first preference, we will be giving it to the house where the person live. Correct. Because, you know, see, after all, the most of the life, the most of the time, of that person he's going to spend it in your in his house right so first and the foremost step is to get the vastu done for your house and then move on to the workplace see okay. once you balance the vastu for your house you will automatically see you know things having 
good impact or things turning out to be good in your office automatically. And, you know, doing the vastu of your office as well is like a cherry on the cake. If in the house this is perfectly done and uh, if the person stays in the office for a very long time every day like 12 hours, 10 hours, 14 hours and in the office if there is like a serious problem there. So what have you seen in this, this situation? You mean when a person has to spend more hours of working in the office as compared to house, right? Yeah, and in the office, the northwest is damaged. So then what mm -hmm. uh, have, you, have you seen in your observation? In that case, you know, still I will be giving the first priority to that house. You know, okay. because house is where a person dwells, right? Yeah. He gets his nutrition from his house. He gets his family support from his house. He gets his love and he gets his comfort in that house, right? Yeah. Even after working for long, long hours, that person come back to the house to rest, to rejuvenate and to right. be ready for the next day. All right. So still first and the foremost priority would be the house. And then absolutely, I'm not denying the fact that, you know, we can ignore the fact that the Northwest of the office is imbalanced. I mm -hmm. mean, it is also very important, you know, in to manage to balance the Northwest of the office as well. So that, you know, Still, that person does not lack any kind of support. See, you know, if, if see, Vastu is meant to be, I mean, Vastu is meant to ease out, you know, people's problems. So definitely the Northwest of the office is also very important to be balanced. But still, you know, the first and the foremost priority is always the house. Because house is the place where the person rejuvenates himself for, you know, every day. To work okay now regarding the house let's assume the northwest is very good so then the same rule will apply that for all the members they will not have problems in getting help and support it will apply absolutely to... absolutely okay correct i mean if if there are children you know they want some support with their teachers or their parents or their siblings i mean they will always get the support easily okay. all right so as I told, Vastu acts as a whole, right? Everybody in that family, everybody in that house, you know, it will be impacted from the right as well as the wrong Vastu. Okay, great. And now one uh, is question is very important, I guess, and many people would like to know, like from the horoscope, how can we identify, like there are two things. One is the static that there is some all vastu problem always by default or a probability that the person may have a bad vastu or always in his life or dynamically like sometimes it is good sometimes it is bad in his or her life so what 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 have you seen in that regards uh, i didn't get your question so my question is so let's talk the static part first so, like, they talk of Vastu Dosh in the Kundli, for example. So, what have you seen, uh, what are some placements in the horoscope which can give some Vastu Dosh? And does it happen, like, the second part of the question would be, like, can it happen dynamically? Like, I have this Dasha of this planet running, and then there could be a temporary Vastu Dosh, which means I move to a place and there is a bad Vastu. So kind of can we correlate with the horoscope? I mean, if in case you have expertise on this, you can speak or else if you feel uh, astrology is like not your cup of tea, then we, we can talk something. Uh, no, actually, you know, astrology does not work like this. You know, like you are trying to relate the, I mean, you're trying to find Vastu Doshas with the astrology. Okay, yeah. Okay. Right. So that is not how it works. Okay. So because, for example, if you move into a new house, right, the washrooms, the kitchens, the overhead tanks, everything is going to change. But right. your horoscope is not going to change, right? Ah, okay. So yeah. from horoscope, what we can take is like, for example, if you would need to, uh, you know, identify the ideal place for a kitchen. So, okay. you know, in that case, we can take the Ashtakovarga score of Mars and Moon of the ladies who are going to cook into the kitchen for most of the time. Oh, I see. Right. If we are building a library for, you know, ourselves in a room. So, for example, if you are building a library yeah. for yourself in a house. So, in that case, we're going to take the Ashtakovarga score of Mercury. 
Oh, I see. You know, from your chart to correlate, right? If you are, you know, building bedrooms for your children, so then in that case, we're gonna, you know, consider and use the Ashtaka Varga of the Mercury of your children mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, Jupiter for your children in order to get the ideal direction of the bedrooms. Okay. So this is how we take the inputs from Jyotish to Vastu. Okay. And you know, because anything... everybody is not same. Yeah. Like, yeah. For yeah. some people, you've seen, you know, north facing homes are very good. And for some people, you see north facing homes are not good. You know, people say, I live in a south facing home. You know, south facing home is very good. And on the other hand, people say, you know, one should never take a south facing home. You know, it is always unlucky and, you know, things like that. Even I live in a south facing home. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, if if your lagna gives good score to the south direction, you can definitely live in a south facing home. The Ashtak Varga score of your lagna is highest in the south direction, then definitely you can have a south facing home. So that is how we take the inputs from Jyotish, from astrology to Vastu to make it more accurate, to make it more personalized, you know, so that people cannot say, you know, Ye cheez mujhe nahi suit ki ya. Then, you know, this, this thing does not suit me. So mm -hmm. that is how the personal personalization part comes into the play. Okay. And many times people like uh, viewers of astrology wonder about the fourth house because the fourth house is the house of the home in astrology, like the physical part, not the family. So uh, yeah. any any insights on that? Like you spoke on Ashtag Varga, but the fourth house specifically? See, specifically fourth house does not, you know, hold any importance with the constructional construction or the physical. See, fourth house can, you know, say that, you know, you're going to have a big house, a luxurious house or an average house, a small house, depending upon the dashas and the planetary placements. But then, you know, if you say that, you know, we can identify the placements of the elements, like for example, kitchen or drawing room or living room or how your drawing room would be looking like or how your living would li uh, living room would be looking like we cannot relate that from the fourth house okay 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 great and regarding uh, regarding so you said uh, the astragvarga scores actually matter so now depending on that we can personalize it and make it a bit specific like south for example Absolutely. as you said and what about like northeast as you said uh, that is the most important so if some if somebody's ashtak varga scores don't favor that then how does that work see ashtak varga score gives the importance to only four cardinal directions which is north okay. south west and east so okay. you know that's it so but we have 16 directions so in, out of all those 16 directions, there was one diagonal that I spoke about, you know, Northwest, Brahmastan and Southwest. Yes. You know, so that it, it's a different thing. So, you know, that is why there is no remedy of that, you know, this excess in the Vastu Shastra. Okay. So, but from from the Ashtak Varga score, we can have the only four cardinal directions from this. Or somehow, you know, sometimes what we can do is, you know, for example, you know, sometimes somebody buys an already constructed home, all right? Yeah. And the bedroom for that person comes into the northwest corner. In that case, we will check the Ashtak Varga score of north and the west direction. If that is equal or that if that, if that score does not make a huge difference, then it means the northwest axis also support that person. I mean, that energies. That person can definitely have a room in that axis as well. Okay. See, okay. I mean, obviously, you know, it is always the four directions. And, you know, when we uh, divide those four directions, then it comes the eight directions. And then we divide further those eight directions, then it comes the 16 directions. Correct. And after that, when we divide it again, then it comes the 32 entrances of okay. the Vastu. Okay. Every four cardinal directions has eight padas of a particular entrance. So out of those eight padas, there's always two or three padas which are the most important one for the entrances as well. 
Okay. And w what about this Brahmasthan? Is it like, the, what is it? What's the importance? Like, is it like the center? Absolutely. See, Brahmasthan, a lot of people have a lot of fear or confusions or a lot of questions, okay. you know, regarding the Brahmasthan is in uh, Vastu. So I always get a lot of questions about Brahmasthan. See, Brahmasthan is the epicenter, the mid place of a house. So when we, you know, grid a map and we do the dissection of the map, the center point is the Brahmasthan. See, Brahmasthan is a place from which all the energies are, you know, uh, released and they then, you know, move into the house. So mm -hmm. if there are 16 directions, there are 16 attributes and every attribute have different energy. So Brahmasthan is that epicenter where all the energies are released, they are produced and then further they rotate into the house. So if the Brahmasthan of your house is imbalanced or it has any empty element over there, you know, all the energies in your house is going to be destroyed. Ooh. You know, all the positive energies as well, they will be destroyed. So there are also some particular protocols for the Brahmasthan as well. You know, Brahmasthan should always be empty. There should be no heavy spaces, no heavy tables, no heavy walls, no washrooms, no kitchens inside, you know, on the Brahmasthan. So having, you know, these stuffs on the Brahmasthan, it will make a lot of problems, specifically health problems. Okay. You know, having a dosha in Brahmasthan can give you a lot of digestive issues, a lot of heart problems. Okay. okay. I mean, in Canada, America, in the Western part, I've seen, you know, people building kitchens in the Brahmasthana. So like whenever you enter into their house, the kitchen is always in the center with the, you know, island kind of a table and, you know, they are cooking and sitting and eating over there. So having a kitchen in Brahmasthan or having staircase in Brahmasthan or having a wall in Brahmasthan is one of the biggest Vastu Dosha. And again, there is no remedy for that. The only remedy is to remove it. You know, in olden times, you must have seen, you know, in big, big houses, yeah. you know, the construction was done on the corners, Sorry. the edges. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the center, there was always a path, a ground or a grass on which there was always Tulsi Ma planted. Right. There is always Tulsi. I mean, in olden, in old movies, you must have seen such kinds of constructions. Yes. yes. So in yes. Brahmasthan, it is always, you know, suggested or recommended to keep it empty. And, you know, you should allow the sunlight to come into the Brahmasthana. And the best part is to have a Tulsi in the Brahmasthana. Okay. Okay. So then one last question for today I would have for you. If somebody comes to you and says, uh, sir, I have problems in my profession or I'm not growing or whatever, you know, I'm losing money or I'm not getting promotion. There's some problem. So what, how, how would you uh, deal with that person? Like, will you like go to his house and see and of course look at his horoscope? So what would be your approach? See, first of all, I would need to identify that what particular problem are they facing? I mean, do they want to upgrade their position into the job? They want promotion, but they're not getting it, you know. And then, you know, if somebody is into the business and they say that, you know, my business is not converting into the sales. I mean, I have a lot of stock ready, but the stock is not, you know, going away. Oh, I'm not okay. able to sell my stock. And mm -hmm. then, you know, and then there is a problem when, you know, everything is okay. You know, you are earning money, the stock is going fine, the conversions are okay, but then you're not able to hold on to that money, mm. right? There are a lot of losses. I mean, someday, you know, there's a problem in a the machinery, then the other day, you know, some equipment got broken, and then the other day, some, you know, stock, it got ruined. So, it, I mean, we need to identify, you know, what the problem is. Based on that particular problem, then we take the call to the action. Okay. Okay. Depending upon a particular problem, then we look at to the attribute which needs to be managed. And, you know, from that, we identify that what part or what attribute is destroyed of that premises. Okay. Okay. So then you will primarily go and check the house. And after talking to the person, you will see what, what, where is the problem, basically. Absolutely. Correct. Okay. 
and uh, just curious one question came to my mind like does vastu have anything to do with the age of the house like if a house is like 10 years old or like 50 years 100 years old so does it mean some things can change or it's always the same no it's always the same until and unless your house is built completely fine i mean it does not have any major vastu dosha like i said you know in the north and northeast and southwest axis unless you don't have a major vastu dosha over there it is completely fine i mean the house can be 10 20 30 40 50 years old it doesn't matter okay and if there are like in the walls if there are cracks or something like you know or maybe if the foundation is a bit uh because if it's very old so then uh, but that's a separate problem or i mean it's not a major vastu problem but it can still have some other issues like yeah. Yeah, see, it's a different issue, right? For example, every house has an age, right? But that has nothing to do with the vastu. So if you see, you know, that how your house is being very old, you know, and then there are a lot of cracks in the walls, then obviously, I mean, you should get it repaired. But then on the other hand, vastu does not have any role with that. I mean, the house can be 10, 20, 30, 40, or even 100 years old, unless there is no vastu dosha in that premises, or there is there are no negative land energies in that area that house is completely fine okay so generally when people say oh the walls are like cracking or there are cobwebs so that's not a vastu problem basically i mean that do brings the negative energies the yeah. call to action for that problem is to get it repaired as as soon yeah. as possible Correct. but then unless you know it does not have any vastu dosha it is completely fine okay i see okay interesting <laughs> well thank you so much uh, it was very enlightening for me uh, first time i got to learn so much about vastu and uh, it's very interesting because the energies that are around us we we don't feel it sometimes some of us feel it <laughs> no, actually you know i'll tell you how vastu works see you watch a good movie you know you're happy right yeah. then it if you watch at the same time if you watch an emotional movie you know you get sad or gloomy then if you watch a violent movie you know your mindset becomes violent yeah you know that the changes happening in your mind is because of the visual contact mm. right you see something violent you get violent you see something sad you get gloomy vastu are the energies you know, which you cannot see, but then if it is not balanced, it can, you know, make a difference on your cognitive skills or the cognitive working. For mm. example, if there is if there is a toilet in the Northeast, mm. you know, you'll not be able to see, but the cognitive energies, the energy flows, which is going into your cognitive mind that are being destroyed. Okay. You know, you'll lack the mental clarity. So Vastu is affecting the cognitive working of a person. Okay. So Vastu, you'll not be able to see it, but at the end, it would affect your cognitive functioning. How you think, how you speak, how you behave. You know, these are the things which Vastu hits. And if a person changes his residence and goes to a place where the vastu is bad, then the results are like very immediate from the very next day. I mean, hypothetically, theoretically, from the very next day, it will start working negatively for him. Correct. Correct. I mean, it can also depend on the, you know, a particular vastu dosha. Like if it is a big, big vastu dosha, it can be very quick. The negative impacts can be very quick and very harsh. And, you know, but, you know, you know, if the doshas are not very big and, you know, then we ignore it and then keep going with it, then, you know, it can have a slow impact, but definitely it will have an impact on you. You know, you must have seen that, you know, people, they are flourishing in a house. So, for example, they built a small house, right? You know, they are earning good, they're doing good. And then, you know, once they've achieved a certain level, they move on to the next house, the bigger house. And yeah. when they move into that bigger house, they do not see the same amount of exponential growth in their careers, in their life, in their relationships, which they used to have in that smaller house. Okay. Why is it? It is because 
you know the vastu of the new place has changed there are some particular things which need to be rectified you know due to which you have those changes in your relationships in your career your health okay okay well thank you so much for all the detailed information that you shared and for the viewers uh please uh i'm sure you loved this video if you have if you are here till the end and please hit the thumbs up to show your appreciation for him and please visit his youtube channel and his website for consultations and also his instagram page i will pin all the details in the description section and please most importantly comment below and say what you liked about the video and uh, if you would like to see him again uh, which many of you would like uh, for sure <laughs> then please write it down that yes please bring him back but this time with this topic and whichever topic has uh, the most number of comments we will select it and maybe we can have a recording again thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much thank you sir. thank you Hare krishna Hare krishna thank you